Hello everybody, it's the final game of the regular season for Old Dominion and they finally climbed into the top 25, it's it's fantastic. 10-1, 7-0 in the Conference USA, on the road to UAB, and it's really unfortunate and, and uh, to put this up with what's happening in real life right now is that UAB's football program has been shut down and it is terrible, it is stupid. And I hate it. Silly that their program is being shut down the way that it went down. And with that being said, UAB will live on forever in NCAA 14. They will remain as a team in here. So it'll be a tribute to them. Today, Old Dominion goes on the road. And if UAB somehow manages to pull off the win, they will become bowl eligible with their sixth win on the season. It's just a matter of would they be able to actually get into a bowl game. It's also an issue in real life, but I'll stay away from that for now, and we'll stick with Dynasty stuff. First possession goes to the UAB Blazers, and here the quarterback takes a hit. It's Briscoe, yes. He comes leading this team. Not a bad season for Jeremiah Briscoe, but it's been up and down for the Blazers. They haven't quite been able to figure it out this season to get... You know, string together some good wins, put together a complete season that would have them in contention for a division and possibly a conference championship. So they seem a little off. They seem a few years off from being able to actually contend for a conference USA championship. But who knows? I think a change in an instant here. Briscoe going long, almost intercepted by Jack Tocho. He's had a nice season for Old Dominion, and that would end the drive. So, Monarchs, possession around midfield. They got a great field position on this starting drive. Look at David Dixon, the amazing cutback. He stays on his feet, and if he doesn't get cut down there, 30-yard run, first play. Goes for 30 yards. Here's the cut. That's one part of this amazing play. The other part is he stays on his feet, and this, oh my, touchdown saving tackle barely got that away. 30 yards for Dixon, a great start. He has played really well as of late. And McCarley looking to pass, it just wouldn't have anywhere to go there. Sacked for 11 yards and now on third and 16. There's a lot to uh, make up for after that sack. McCarley's gonna fire for the corner of the end zone and he couldn't quite find his man. It was Brandon Ellison, the intended target. ODU picks up three points on a Tommy Patrick field goal though. And the lead belongs to the Monarchs here very early in Birmingham. But look at this. It's Nayeki Height. 28 yards. A staple of this UAB offense he's been for the past couple seasons. Tough to stop. A little read option for Ronnie Briscoe. And he manages to get about, uh, I don't know, about nine yards there. Looking all right so far. The UAB offense, so they can get a little more consistent. And here's going to find Spencer who drops it. A simple drop because he had a touchdown there. He was open. That was a touchdown. And UAB, unfortunately, has to give the ball back to Old Dominion again. Not too bad field position. The Monarchs find themselves on third down and get it with a five-yard David Dixon run. Nice going so far. McCarley going to look. He's got a man. It's Connor Martin. What a catch. What a throw. What a catch. This was not easy at all. And there were two guys coming up over the top here. There's one man in coverage, man-to-man -man coverage on Martin. And has a safety over the top, but Martin manages to bring it down for 27. Dixon, the handoff, goes up for about five. and You can usually count on him to get at least five yards, if not roll ahead for, for 30 more yards. Dixon with the spin move, but it does nothing. And it's fourth and goal inside the five-yard line. ODU says we're going to go for it. Shotgun formation. McCarley, time to throw. Doing a little bit of pressure and throws this one right into the turf. Nobody even had a chance at that. Intended for Brady Massey, but it really wasn't even close to him. Turnover on downs. And now third and one, a jumbo package for the Blazers. And here Coleman's going to get stopped. And it's TJ Armstrong, the linebacker on the tackle. Great job there. Punning situation for UAB. David Dixon back to return here. Punts straight ahead, so no real adjustment needed by Dixon. Cuts back, weaving in and out. Dixon has the lane. He's got a few men to beat if he can beat the punter. 
And one more defender. Defenders are missing all over the place, taking bad angles, and it's a touchdown on a punt return. 68 yards. And that's why he has been given some of the punt return duties. They've rotated Dixon in with Donald Simmons. He's not a full-time punt returner, but Dixon, they will bring him on because he's so fast, so dangerous. Here we go. Briscoe in the shotgun, trailing by 10 now. Looking, he's got his man Brown, but it's incomplete. And there was a swarm of defenders ready to destroy him. I'm sure that's why he dropped it. So another punting situation. What will the danger man do this time? Certainly didn't kick it away from Dixon. Maybe he was trying to do that. Dixon shakes off a tackle. Dixon has space. Space. One man to beat. It's the punter. And he's easily missed on that one. And Dixon is going to have back-to-back. -back. On back-to-back -back punts, he's returned them for touchdowns of 68 and 80 yards. This time, it was thanks to a broken tackle and some great punt coverage that led to that one. So it's 17-0 thanks to humongous punt returns by the outstanding running back and look at Jermaine Coleman hard fought 12 yards but I still kick it off this uh, punt return business good grief and Coleman gets launched by Chris Cleveland <laughs> that was unbelievable right there I tell you what he went flying this sets up a third and nine for Briscoe dropping back and he looks and Rob Thompson a step slow on coverage Garrett Brown gets 31 big play and a chance to put some points on the board for UAB and get them right back in. This Briscoe takes off. Doesn't see anybody else out there. Ricks takes the sliding quarterback's head off. And you got to be careful sometimes to get a penalty for doing that on a sliding quarterback. Look at Jermaine Coleman. Cuts it back to the left side. He's a little uh, shifty runner. He's a good balance of uh, power and quickness. But gets in the end zone and... You know, suddenly it's not such an easy game when you're up by 10. Here, McCarley, though, pitches it to Dixon on the option. This is a play that's worked so well for Old Dominion as of late. Little speed option plays, especially because of Dixon and how quick he is. Under a minute to go in the first half. McCarley wants to get a touchdown for his team. That pass is going nowhere. He's only 3 of 10. A terrible start, really, for him today. McCarley looking on third down. Now he's got Lawrence Reese, and it's an 11-yard touchdown. Re taking the lead of 17. After UAB pulled back within 10. So with 50 seconds to go, Lawrence Reese found there. Nice play from McCarley to the receiver. First and 10 for Briscoe looking. And they're in pop plus territory here, but Briscoe sacked by Chad Robinson. Five-yard loss there. Now the clock will continue to tick. Blazers only have one timeout. Empty backfield for Briscoe. Looking for his man, Brown, who has it. Did he get out of bounds? Are they going to call him out of bounds? Because that will stop the clock. They do, in fact. Looks like he might have been close to being tackled inbounds, but, in fact, it wasn't the case. Spencer pushed out first and goal. Blazers going to run no huddle because he was actually tackled inbounds. Hard to keep track of all this. First and goal. Time running out. Briscoe throwing off balance. Incomplete. And they will get out of that with zero points. They could have called a timeout and even run a play or at least kicked a field goal. Instead, they completely waste that opportunity. And it's halftime. A 24-7 lead for the Monarchs. A very good start to this game. And Old Dominion is one half away from exiting the regular season with an undefeated conference record. And their only loss dating back to the start of the season. It's been a heck of a season. It hasn't been easy. It's come with some tough wins, come from come from behind moments, but it's it's been a heck of a season. And Old Dominion now has just one half to secure undefeated conference season. Dixon on the option pitch. He goes nearly 30 yards there. It's just too easy. UAB defense is just too slow in that situation. They don't have enough speed on their defense to catch a player like Dixon. And Old Dominion now sort of, sort of exerting the power. Second and three pistol formation. Handoff to Dixon. Up the middle. Seven yards. Mr. Reliable. You can count on him to get the job done. Third and goal for Old Dominion from about the three-yard line. Handoff, and it's a touchdown for Dixon. His third of the day, his first that's a rushing touchdown. His other two, of course, are those 
fantastic punt returns, which I could watch over and over, tell you what. Midway through, a little, little under midway through. John Jordan on the pursuit here in Briscoe has a little bit of speed himself. He's not the fastest guy, but I tell you what, he makes a defensive tackle miss there. And look at this quicks bubble out to, uh, who was that, J.J. Green, yeah. He's been a bit quiet, though. Green is, is a solid receiver. He's been a bit quiet today. Other receivers have uh, stepped up, but Green has not quite been there. Third and three now. Offset eye formation. Briscoe going back to pass. And he's got his man. Old Dominion brought the blitz and it did not pay off. And there's J.J. Green. Touchdown reception. Two-point conversion now for Briscoe. Looking and he's going to find his man. Jacob Ortiz and it's 31-15. Still third quarter. So if they get a stop, the defense gets a stop here. You never know. Hand off to Dixon on second and 13. And... Eight yards. I mean, again, Mr. Reliable. He just can't get enough of what he can do. Philip Dickens on third down converts in a very important conversion to prevent a quick stop by the UAB defense. McCarley dropping back. Fires an Ellison tight coverage, but the defender may have overplayed to the inside. The ball is thrown to the outside and thus was completed. Nearing the end of the third, second and eight, McCarley. Looking, and he's got a man open. It's Brady Massey trying to shake off the tackle of that big receiver. Not easy to bring down. Start of the fourth quarter. Second and nine from McCarley. Going back to pass again, and he's sacked. Held it too long. Really wasn't much there for him, and by the time there was, he was already hit. Third and 20. Hand off to Dixon. Just going to kind of try and keep it conservative. Look at the juke move. That was a deadly move. You never know what's going to happen. Tommy Patrick's going to set up for the field goal here, fourth down. He's going to put it through. He does. He puts it through ODU. Extends the lead now, 34-15. And with the studio update, Iowa State is up on TCU, who is number four in the country. <laughs> That'd be quite an upset there. Iowa State 5-5 five five on the season. Not the best. Next drive, offset eye formation again for UAB. And Coleman going to run it up the middle on this play. Old Dominion may have over-pursued, got in the backfield too quickly, and let Coleman get in behind. That gives him a nice first down gain. Things are going well. Briscoe looking to pass, and he's got a man, Brown! Brown had Weddle beat, and I don't know why Weddle's celebrating, because Weddle was going to get beat on that play, and it's lucky that it was just dropped, because <laughs> otherwise that, was, that could have been even a touchdown, if not just a big gain for the Blazers, but nonetheless... UAB is driving nicely. Jermaine Coleman gets the handoff. He's going to get about 12, 11, 12 yards on that play. First and goal. Things are looking good now on second and goal. Briscoe looking to pass. Shakes off the tackle, and he's going to go in for the touchdown. Ooh. Tell you what. That was not a very good attempt on the tackle there. That Chad Robinson. You got to do better than that, man. I know you're better than that. They kick the extra point, don't go for two there, so it's 34-22. Old Dominion now trying to put this one away, throws it, and they're trying to rip the ball out. You see that? Trying to rip it out. Old Dominion goes on a passing play. I want to put this one away. McCarley on a little option pitch to Scott Sullivan. Sullivan getting some playing time. Last time out by UAB, and it's third and five. Old Dominion gets the first down here, and it's all over. Pitch to Dixon on the option, a quick pitch. He stopped short, though. UAB would get the ball, but would fail to do anything with it. Incomplete pass after incomplete pass. One last play, and Dixon's going to get 13 yards. That's the game. 34-22. Count it. 347 all-purpose yards by Dixon, of course. Half of it came from rushing. Half of it came from punt returns. I mean, goodness gracious, that was unbelievable. And that's it. What a season. 11 and 1. Final record at the end of the regular season. 8 and 0 in conference play. And now, Old Dominion gets to host the Conference USA Championship game because they have the best record in the conference for the second consecutive year and a chance to defend the title. 
There's Dixon, 179 yards on the ground, one touchdown. That comes out to a 7.7 yard per carry. That's a ridiculous average. Dickens led with four receptions. Lawrence Reese had the only touchdown reception. Thompson with the most tackles. And this has been an excellent season. Of course, the Conference USA, not the best conference around. And definitely more offensive, offensively minded. So if you can play solid defense, you can usually come out on top. There's Briscoe, 20 of 33, 286 and a touchdown. Sacked twice. Coleman had 63 yards. There's Green. Four catches, 63 yards, and a touchdown. Nice day for him. But it wasn't enough. UAB just couldn't get it done. And they finished the season season five and seven. Will not get to go to a bowl game, unfortunately, for them. And there it is. 400 total yards on the dot for UAB. That's good, though. I mean, Old Dominion... You know, not good for Old Dominion's defense, but good for UAB's offense, obviously. And no turnovers either side. Zero turnovers. Pretty incredible. Defensive tackle David Brothers and halfback Matt Gardner both committing. I don't know if Gardner really has a place on the team, but there you can see, real quick, David Dixon, NCAA Player of the Week. Well-deserved. Very well-deserved, and... uh, Oh, look, a Rice player. By the way, they won the West Division in the Conference USA. So it's going to be Old Dominion playing Rice in the Conference USA Championship game here in year four of the Dynasty. We're getting a quick look at the recruiting, seeing where we're standing with some of these recruits. Evans, we're only 25 points off. Rashid Chase is in the bag. Jason Wright, we're in a heated battle with two other schools. But Todd Jackson, look at us. Does anybody else want Todd Jackson? I hope not. Sometimes schools jump late. Like, they'll jump on a recruit late and they'll dump, like, all their points into them. So, just because Oklahoma and Texas are way off doesn't mean we've got them. In the offseason, they could dump thousands of points and jump anybody. It's just a matter of whether they need that player you know do they need a receiver if not we could get lucky we could get Todd Jackson he's a gem he's a gem we need Todd Jackson in our receiving core he's a necessary addition Matt Gardner though three stars out of Oakville Oak was it did I read it Oak Hill and I just missed it but anyway West Virginia David Brothers a junior college transfer from Waverly Tennessee at defensive tackle he looks all right. He could do in a pinch. You know, I brought him on to do in a pinch. That's it, guys. Black screen now. Yes, black screen. It's going to be Rice and Old Dominion in the Conference USA Championship. Can we get back-to-back conference titles? I'll have to wait till next time, and I'll see you guys then. I love you all. Goodbye.